Hey everybody, grab yourself a kill me soda and stay a while because we are back with more Wind Waker. In the last episode, we made it through half of Dragon Roost Cavern. In this episode, we are going to try and finish it. Whether we like it or not, we're going to do it. And I still have the Spear of Awesome. Hey Medley, grab onto this branch with a grappling hook and derp de derp 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 derp. The basics of the grappling hook. First, you want to equip it. That's a really good idea. Then, you use it and you aim at the thing until the sparkly thing becomes a thing. And then you press the button again and you can swing like a thing. And press A again and go Wii. It's pretty simple. So, do that. Fly. Roll. Roll like no tomorrow and break. And then jump. Oh, God. <laughs> I did it wrong. How did we end up back down here, of all places? This is not where we need to be. Oh wait, yes it is. Wait, is it? Is it? I don't believe it is. No, it's not, I just jumped down there like that to do that. You wanna go over here? I'm sorry about that, I screwed myself up because I fell. Just grand, isn't it? Okay, real quick, I need to restart my stopwatch, and my stopwatch is restarted. Wow, it's getting warm in my room because I have a computer going on in here and very poor ventilation, and I have to turn my fan off when I'm recording, and it gets really, really warm, so I can't really do long recording se se sessions very well. It's very unpleasant. Okay, so. <laughs> Poor Bokublin. Not really. You want to break the ropes. Fall down. Ah! You don't want to do that. You do not want to do that. That is a bad idea. That is a very bad idea. You don't want to do it. <laughs> As I was saying, Bokublin, I will finish you! Bah! And you want to do that again? And you'll just fall right on down. And there you go. And you wanna... Damn it, I forgot. I screwed up, guys. I screwed up. So, let's just do this. We take this water over here. We wait for that thing to come down. Throw it over there. Hop on. And we wait to go up. So, in the meantime, more water! Mm. So refreshing. So fantastic. So, mmm. Okay. Okay, we gotta leave and come back is what we gotta do here. So, I will see you right when I do that. Or I could just do that. Because I could. Hello, insides. How have you been? Okay. You are a sneaky little devil. Come on, let me kill you. You too, die. And now we should get that treasure chest down there. Up here. Jeez. All this talking is really derping up my throat. Spin. Spin. And break. Thank you. And we get a joy pendant. Yay! More joy pendants for nectar-filled blossoms and ladies of Windfall Island. Yay! Alright, go ahead and go over here. Go, go, go. Wow! And hop right over here. Prepare a spin attack. Bah! And we're going down now. Hello, how are you? Go through here. Hop up here, hop up here, hop over here, and go up here and prepare yourself for battle, probably. No, okay. Okay, now, fun little thing. If you, if you look, if you look up there, you have got to uh, grapple onto that, so that you can swing, it will pull it down, and it will open a door. 
Now, it is probably to my understanding that that's a way of teaching you how to fight the boss in this dungeon. At least that's what I'd like to guess it is, so... Yeah. Alright, now, you want to hold your R button here, because I never really taught the actual way of stopping with the grappling hook. You hold the R button, and then you can turn and change direction, and also climb up the rope, or let some go a bit, with some slack on it. That way you can adjust your speed, angle, distance, whatever you like to do if you are a fan of fine-tuning all of that grand stuff, but a lot of time there are a lot of times when you actually need to do it, so there you go. Okay. Now, you tricky little devil. Come at me, bro. You want to hit this thing to where it'll curl up, so first of all, come at me. Bam! Now it's curled up, grab it, set it on the switch, grab it, set it on the switch, grab it, set it on the switch, gosh, and this is the big chest, the big chest signifies one big, very awesome, important item. It is the big key, the big key is used to gain the entrance to the boss room, so there you go. You have obtained the big key, let's get out of here and take care of one last thing before we go and play with the boss of the dungeon. You! GTFO! <laughs> Alright. Grab on. Swing. Whoa, that was a close one. Whoa, that was a close one too, jeez. No more close calls, please. Bats, grappling hooks, fantastic. You can just smack bats with them. If I didn't fail so much, die. Please. Hate bats. These bats are so annoying. Alright. Hold R again. Aim at the door. Start swinging. Back and forth. You move the control stick. It's like swinging in real life. You move forward and backward and what the derp? I was clearly going forward when I let go. Crap. Okay. Now I'm getting heart harmed. Jump for it and jump for it and jump for it and jump for it. Get yourself a heart. If you're as bad as I am. And I'm pretty bad, so yeah. Go ahead and do that again. Stop again. So you can turn again. So that you can move again and drink more water. Wow, it's like I have a sore, scratchy throat. I don't know what's wrong with me. <clears throat> it's a scratchy throat is what it is. Dude! What? D you saw that, right? I was clearly swinging forward. And you throw me backward. You, oh... Oh, I am well aware of what happened. Okay. I have to climb up a little. I was running into the wall, wasn't I? Yes, I sir was. Sir was? What? Yes, I sir was. I am sir was. Was sir? Was you sir? Climb up a little. And now you swing for it. <clears throat> ah, my throat. Swing, and go, and do that, and now, let's go ahead and go down here. Wow, bat. Sorry, but I will not be part of your silly little game. No! Ah! So close yet so far. We get to do something a little neat, so take close attention to the map and where I am pointing at. You want to stay on here, pointed right at that pillar that you see at the bottom. And you know what's funny, first of all, that I find about the Wii? I am lagging with the legend, I'm lagging this game. And you want to jump, and you did it wrong, I did it wrong. Don't pay any attention to that one. Just pay attention to the next one I do, which should be correct. So, go ahead and jump off that, and wow! 
<laughs> oh, let's play curse. No, 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 no. Okay, okay. Climb down the ladder, drop down, hop, step, jump, and hop on. Once again, point yourself at that, and you're gonna wait until it starts dropping. You wait just a little bit and jump off, like this. And you're gonna end up on there. And what you wanna do is kill this thing. All right, and go over here. And what you wanna do is you're gonna have to cross this again, so grab, well, actually, I should do this first. So, do that, then grab one of these, make yourself a little platform, jump for it, jump across, and I don't believe we'll get jumped by, yeah, we will get jumped by True Jelly. We're not fighting you, True Jelly. We have more important business to attend to. At the moment. You're basically, we're doing a little backtracking to that room that I told you about, right? No, not here, not here. It's a little further forward, I believe. Yes, wow. And I told myself I wasn't going to accidentally do this, and I ended up doing it anyways. What you really want to do is you can just, when you get back on that pillar, do not jump in the lava link. When you get on that pillar, you can just take that bridge over there and come over here, and then you want to go through this door. It's the one we unlocked with the small key. And go over here to the right, like intended. Grapple. And jump. Smack it. And we get the treasure chest. Whatever could it be? I have no idea. Do you maybe know so? Maybe now we do. It is a treasure chart. We know about the description already, so thank you for that. Yes, and with that, we have gotten all of the items in this dungeon. Aside from a joy pendant and a yellow ruby, which we are about to go get. Because they happen to be in a place that we need to go. Now, here's the fun part. Instead of going all the way back, instead, just go back to the entrance of the dungeon. And normally, if you got the second warp part, pot, you're going to have to go through the pot twice. But since we only have the boss room pot, just go hop in the pot. And suddenly... Oh my gosh! We Welcome back to the boss room. That is why you want to destroy that boulder. It is nice and easy and awesome. Go across. If you yeah, last time I did it, I could just jump attack right across that. I hate these things. I hate these things. Okay, wait. Ah. Ah. I'll die! Damn! He dead. Treasure chest here. And you got your. Oh, it's not a treasure. It's not a joy pen. It's a knight's crest. This is used for uh, something later in the game that I'll show you about later in the game. And then you got a yellow rupee right here. So there you go. That's worth 10 rupees. Not too shabby. Now, as with most Legend of Zelda games, right before the boss room, you'll find pots. And, well, that one, there's the joy pendant, okay. You'll find pots, and one of them will have a fairy in them. And I'll just accidentally do that. Luckily, there's two pots that have fairies in them. This, ah, you suck. Jerk. Derp face. Okay, get down. Go over here. Destroy this one. Oh, great, just try and capture that in a bottle. Okay, we are going to go ahead and fight the boss, and we may fail. Who knows? Drink more water. Ah, and say hello to, <clears throat> if he'll hurry up and make his appearance. That's Valu's tail, by the way. And this is Goma, the first boss of the game. There you go. Have fun. Hello, buddy. Basic strategy here is go around him. 
Wait till he shoves his thing in the ground. He's gonna get it stuck. Point your grappling hook up at the tail, throw it, and you'll latch onto it. And then you just wanna... Oh my, what is that? Swing across, and it's gonna drop the ceiling on Goma. Bam! How you like them apples, giant scorpion lizard thingy? And he's gonna push it back up there because he's angry, he's angry. Ah -ha! Ah! Alright, same thing, you want to do this three times, so just wait. Come on, buddy. I don't have all midnight. And do it again. Oh no! Ah! Sometimes he doesn't get his claw stuck long enough. Ow! Come on. Okay, in the case of that, you gotta be quick. It's just how you gotta do it. Like that. Be awesome. Be amazing. Ah, now I'm up here. You know what that means? <laughs> if you can get up on one of these platforms, you basically win. Easily. Because he can't hit you up here. So, or at least I don't believe he can. If he can, I'm gonna be sadly sad. Hello, Goma. How are you? Whoa! Set me on fire. Okay, just grapple onto the tail again. And make for another swing. Why I'm a baby below? Oh look, I'm hanging. I'm just hanging out. Hanging around. Hanging on the edge of nothing. And his armor shatters. Mild music change. Speeds up. Alright. So now you wanna hop down, back down here. Hello, Goma. Hit his eye with the grappling hook. It'll pull it to you, and you slash the crap out of it. Do it once more. Do it once more. And... Done. Here we have our very first heart container. Stare at it, love it, enjoy it, but most importantly, take it. Ha <laughs> ha! You got a heart container. Your life, con your life energy is increased by one. Plus, your life gauge has been replenished. So now we have four hearts. That's four more than the average human. No, no, that's so mean. But sometimes really true. And so, just go ahead and go into this light. Or wind. Wind. And we are done with Dragon Roost Cavern. Ta-da. Well, Prince Komali, don't you have something you want to say? Um, I heard everything from Medley. Komi, thank you so much. I'm sorry I mistrusted you. I hope I can be like you someday, Komi. You will, Komali. I just know it, right, Komi? Failed. 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 Sad. So, Komi? Here. 
I want you to take this, Komi. Giving you the thing I value most will give me the courage I need to stand up to bad things. You received Den's Pearl. This is the gem the Rito's claim was passed down from the Great Goddess. The Great Valu is grateful to you, Komi. Oh, hero. Thank you. Oh, hero. Use the Wind God's Wind. Use the Wind God's Wind? That's what he said, but I don't understand. I wonder what he means. The Wind God's Wind, I wonder if what he's talking about has anything to do with the wind shine that's through that tunnel. Oh, I almost forgot. The Great Valu is named you, Komi, a true hero. I agree with him. As far as we're concerned, Komi, you really are a hero. Well, I'm going to go visit Valu. I'll come and see you sometime with the best pair of wings ever. Hey, Prince Komali! Thanks so much, Komi. See you again someday. Yes, we will, Medley. We will. Ah, and there you go, guys. So, that is all for this episode. We have finished Dragon Roost Cavern. And we're just gonna go around Link because he's that amazing. No, no more of that. Um, we've finished Dragon Roost Cavern. We have finished pretty much Dragon Roost Island as a whole. At least for now. So, um, thank you for watching. I will see you in the next episode. Take it easy.